Hello everyone, Linda Israel here, and today I'm using some bits and pieces that were left over from wedding invitations. I happened to pick up this box at Hobby Lobby for $2.50, and it was supposed to have 25 invitations and enclosure cards like for RSVP. And when I was looking through the box, I came to the conclusion that someone purchased the package, made their invitations, and whatever they had left over, they crammed in the box and returned it to Hobby Lobby. I'm not judging, but I think that's what happened. So, I picked these up because I thought they might be fun to try to use inside junk journals. And what they are is a pocket, which is a little wide. It's five and a quarter inches wide with a ribbon. Then you have this piece that you're supposed to put your invitation on. And then there's an enclosure card that comes with it. So today what I thought I would do is show you how I modified it to make a little booklet that has a little bit of embellishment on it you can write here i added this little piece of paper here and then i just crammed a journal card from calico collage in the pocket and then i just tied a little ribbon that was laying on my desk i'm just using up all the junk that i have including this little mixed media piece so i've got one here and the thing i did was i just took this and folded it over in half and I know it may be hard to see, but it is a white with a pearlescent stripe on it. So now we've got like a little mini booklet in a sense. And then I found a couple of things in my stash here. And I thought it might look kind of neat to layer this up with a little mixed media piece, a book page. And then this is the Garden Rose from Beeline Designs, and I have those in my shop, and I've colored it with Tattered Angels Glimmer Mist, and then because it's Beeline Designs, their rubber stamps, you are allowed to scan them into your computer and then print them over and over. So I found that it was faster for me to stamp a whole bunch of images, scan them in, and then I can print them over and over, and I don't have to stop and color unless I want a particular color. So that's what I've done here. So I think what I'm gonna do is this piece of paper here, I want to add a little bit of color. I picked this yellow and this bright mixed media here, and I think maybe, let's make this green. Let me grab some green Tattered Angels. I have the Punked Lime, and this is from the Punked Out Steam Tattered Angels set that I have in my shop. But any green will really work, and I'm just gonna spritz that on. And it's okay if it's splattery. Mine's almost empty, so it kind of splatters a little bit. I'm gonna use a heat tool to dry it. it has lots of gold shimmer in that pink Punked Out Lime. I'm gonna use my Distress Ink Walnut stain and a Tim Holtz or Ranger ink blending tool and go right around the edge to kind of give that a little darkness to it, the more vintage. I'm going to go ahead and add a little bit. This is one of the to distress eggs to this uh, scrap of a mixed media page that I made. I do mixed media pages and gel printing and that kind of stuff every Thursday at 12.30 p.m. Central Standard Time. And then on Mondays, I show how to make either journals or at least journal elements using my junk on Mondays at 3.45 p.m. I'm gonna go ahead and layer this up. Just put a little bit of a Lean's Tacky Glue on the back side, smoothing that out. And I think I wanna put this kind of probably like that where it just kind of shows all the different layers on there and I don't want to put it straight I want to put it kind of cockeyed or at cattywampus is another term that we like to use then I'm going to go ahead and glue down the Bella Rose I'm noticing there's a couple of spots that didn't get distressing so I'm just going to kind of touch that up just a little bit and I find that the wide areas in the middle if I just take my blending tool and kind of go over that it kind of grunges it up and it doesn't look so stark white in there all right let's put this down and then i've got my little word phrases these are black white words on black inspirational words i like this one it says be a difference maker so let's put that let's put it right here across the bottom 
All right, so I have this little tear off pad of paper. They come in different colors. I picked it up at like the Dollar Tree and I was just messing around and it fits perfectly right inside where the pocket is, but I, it's too plain. It needs something on there. So I thought well, we'll stamp it up. All right, so I've got some jet black ink and I've got the textured edge. This is the one that kind of looks like damask. And I'm going to stamp that on the outside edge all the way around this little piece. So it just kind of adds a decorative touch all the way around. I'm going to use some Distress ink around the edges. And I think this one's going to go right here in the center. So I'm just going to glue it down. Now, if I wanted to back it with a heavier piece of paper, I can make this an additional pocket if you want. But I'm just going to glue it all the way down. And then I've got a little butterfly that I've colored with Tattered Angels again. And I think that, that would look really good right there. And let's see what other word phrase we can find. This is a good one. It says, be the light. So I'm going to glue down that butterfly and then we'll glue down that little phrase. I'm gonna go, I'll go at an angle. Why not? Doesn't have to always be straight. Now that's looking pretty cute. I think we just need to grab a journal card for the inside. I have this little basket here that I will pre-print cards from calico collage sometimes i embellish them sometimes i don't i kind of like that one let's use that we got butterflies on the outside and then we've got a butterfly on the inside that folds over let's um let's grab some ribbon i've got this little i just grabbed it it was right here on my desk yes it's a different color but you know what i like color and i'm using up the things i already have so this will be one of those unusual pieces that you can tuck into a journal pocket and I'm just going to tie it closed like that and I'll trim it off. So there's my little portfolio that I use. This one here, I use some tulip dimensional glitter paint. So it is fabric department, t-shirt department. It's relatively inexpensive for $3.99. And I just put it on there and let it dry. I don't know if you can see the sparkle on there. Well, I hope it just gives you an idea. Think about the things you have and try to incorporate those in your projects you know it may not look when you first see it as this little pocket that you're like well it's too big for my journal that i'm making what can i do with this well you know you can always fold it up you can always cut it up as well well i hope you enjoyed this if you did give me a thumbs up share this video with your friends i hope you'll come to my live streams as well check the description box down below for links to the products that i use today and i hope to see you soon thanks so much for watching everybody bye